With a heritage dating back hundreds of years, Tasmanian Aboriginal weaving skills have been back on show in Adelaide with the Tay and Evie exhibition at Flinders University's City Gallery. Tay and Evie, an Aboriginal word meaning exchange, celebrates the revitalisation of Tasmanian Aboriginal weaving that's been taking place in recent years as 35 Aboriginal women and girls travelled across the island state to recapture the skills of their forebears. The resulting exhibition, which has just concluded a national tour, contains a diverse range of woven baskets and water carriers. The new work is put into an historical context with the inclusion in the exhibition of a basket dating from the 1840s and representations of basket weaving and stories from Tasmanian Aboriginal identity, Truganini. Artists Nanette Shaw and Zoe Rimmer recently transformed grasses and shredded leaves into beautiful baskets and shaped kelp into water carriers during two workshops which attracted large crowds to the Flinders City Gallery, which is located within the State Library. At the essence of the project is cultural revival. Uh, the weaving skills uh, that had been practiced by uh, traditional Aboriginal women had been lost as a result of the impact of colonialism in Tasmania. And the idea behind the project was really to try and revive some of those skills. Well, the Flinders University City Gallery, I think, is a very important space um, in terms of uh, helping enrich the cultural fabric of Adelaide. We are one of the few institutions that supports touring exhibitions and I think that's fantastic that we're in a position to be able to do that. Flinders City Gallery has also just celebrated 21 years of teaching and support of Indigenous students by Flinders Yungarendi First Nations Centre. Students and staff chose pieces from the university's art collection to stage the Long Way Home exhibition. Co-curator Natalie Wheeler explains the genesis of the exhibition and why a particular painting resonated with her. The idea of the exhibition came about when the former director Gus Warby thought that it would be nice to reflect on the 21 years that Jung Grandy has been in existence through the voices that, that can be shown in, in artwork. We thought, well, why not use the Art Museum's collection because it's a great collection. One of the the main works for me in this exhibition is the um, Wenton Rabunja painting, which is over there. Mr Rabunja, who is unfortunately now passed away, um, was a distant relative of mine. Rabunja's painting is actually depicting the environment where, where I come from. And sometimes when I feel, um, when, I, when I see a work that, that does depict where I come from, it, it's quite overwhelming. And I did have that sense with, with that work. Flinders University is a strong supporter of the arts, teaching drama, film production, digital media and creative writing and the City Gallery gives expression to that commitment.